morning, new life. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rise, let us stand and be glad and rejoice in it. Hallelujah. This is the day, because maybe y'all didn't hear me, but this is the day, the day today that the Lord has made. We are going to rejoice this morning because he has allowed us to rise up in it with health and strength, activities of our limbs, hallelujah. So since we here today, we might as well go on and praise the Lord, amen. Psalms 98 says, sing to the Lord a new song for he has done marvelous things his right hand and his holy arm have worked salvation for him. Amen. For uh, shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth, all the earth, shout for joy, all the earth. Amen. Let's bow our heads. Father God, we thank you, Lord Jesus. For this is the day that you have made and we have waken up in it today. So God says we answered the alarm clock and we are here for the assignment. We are going to give you praise this morning. We invite the Holy Spirit in, hallelujah, as we, oh God, proclaim the greatness of God, hallelujah, as we give him all that is due him, praise glory and honor this morning hallelujah god we thank you today hallelujah lord we just say thank you hallelujah for you are good and you are god in jesus name we pray the synopsis of our we believe in god the father and in jesus christ his only begotten son our lord we believe in the holy spirit who endows the believer with spiritual gifts the infallible word of God, forgiveness of sin, salvation through grace and faith in Jesus Christ. We believe in the rapture of the church. We believe God responds to our needs progressively through proclamation, preparation, prayer, praise, perspective, and prosperity. We believe we are called to change lives in the world in our lifetime. And who are we? With the help of Christ, who are we? With the help of Christ, who are we? All right, my changes, let's go to work. Well, come on, let's celebrate Jesus. Would you do me a favor? I want you to move from where you are. Come on, find your neighbor and greet them first. Come on, let's pass the peace a little early. Come on, leave from where you are and find somebody and say, welcome into the house of the Lord. Come on, let's move, church. We're going to pass the peace just a little early this morning. Glory, 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 glory. Oh. And when you get back to your seat, go in and find your rhythm. No, 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 no. We love you, Jesus. And we honor your name, Jesus. We got a new song this morning. I want to teach it to you. Hey. Song says, fill this place, fill this place. We won't move until you have your way. Fill this place, Lord, fill this place. We won't move until you have your way. Everybody say, fill this place. You got it, come on. We won't move. Fill this place, Lord. We won't move. Say that, B. Let's do it again. Fill this place and again. Fill this place. You got it, church. We won't, we won't move until you have Fill this place, Lord. Fill this place, Lord. This place. One more time, y'all. Say that me. Let me hear just the voices. Come on. Fill this place. Fill this place. Oh. Fill this place. We won't move. We won't move until you have your Fill this place, Lord. Fill this place, Lord. Fill Come on. We won't move. Let's go, y'all. Have your way, Lord. Come on there. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord, in this place. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. We need you to move, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Let's go. Oh. Every round goes higher. 
Come on, sing it for me, say to you. Yeah, let's go. Oh. Church, we won't move. We won't move until you fill this place, Lord. We won't move. Let's roll, y'all. Come on, tell them. Have your way, Lord. Come on, tell them. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. In this place, have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. We need you to move. Come on, get a good breath. Have your way, Lord. Let's go. Every round goes higher. Come on, Sister Sonda. Hey, hey, come on. You got it. We won't move. We won't move until you have your way. Yeah. Feel this place, Lord. You got the song, church. Come on. Everybody. Feel this place. Let's go. Come on. Feel this place. We won't move until you. Fill this place, Lord. I want to hear just the voices, Bert. Do it again. Fill this place. Let's go. Oh. Fill this place. Fill this place. We won't move. We won't move until you have your way. Fill this place, Lord. Fill this place, Lord. We won't move until you. Take it down. Have your way, Lord. Let's go. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. In this have your way, Lord. Say there. Have your way, Lord. Have your way. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. In this place, have your way, Lord. Come on, say there. Have your way, Lord. Come on, have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. In this place, have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Do it again. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. In this place, have your way, Lord. We need you to move. We need you to move, Lord. Have your way. Have your way, Lord. Father, we love you this morning and we honor your name this morning. Have your way this morning in our life. Hey, in my hands. Oh, and in my feet. We're just going to say this, y'all. We're going to say, Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. You got it. Have your way, Lord. Let's go, y'all. Have your way. Everybody say, Have your way, Lord. You got it. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Do it again. Have your way, Lord. 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 Let me hear just your hands, but come on, drop your hand. Would you make that your consent and say, Lord, have your way? Come on. Oh, I'm gonna move my week out the way. What I got to do? What I gotta cook? Where I gotta go? And have your, have your. Let's go. Ho, ho, ho. Have your way. Have your way, Lord. Hey. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. In my life. Have your way, Lord. 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 Ho ho ho, have your way, have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Yeah. Have your way, Lord. Yeah. Have your way, Lord. 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 Have your way, Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, just one more shot. Have your way, Lord. Yeah. Have your way, Lord. Oh. Have your way, Lord. Right the one, y'all. Have your way, Lord. 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 In my hands. Have your way, Lord. In my feet. Have your way, Lord. In my heart. Oh. Have your way, Lord. In my home. Have your way, Lord. In my body. Have your way, Lord. You can have it. You can have it. Let me hear these hands. Let's go. Clap your hands. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. I said, 
feel something breaking, y'all. Pull up my soul, I'm a high, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. How you come around the way? How you go? How you way, Lord? How you way, Lord? How you way, Lord? How you way, Lord? Who about the way myself? Don't flesh glorify. How you way? Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Rock that one, y'all. Come on. Have your way. Have your way, Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have your way, Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have your way, Lord. 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 Well, let's take a praise, man. Come on. Clap your hands. Feel like dancing, y'all. Pull out my soul. Let's ride that one, one more time, B. Come on. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. In my home. Have your way, Lord. In my hands. Have your way, Lord. In my feet. Have your way, Lord. On my job. Have your way, Lord. In the grocery store. Have your way, Lord. In traffic. Oh. Have your way, Lord. In my health. Have your way, Lord. In my mind. Have your way, Lord. In my eyes. Have your way, Lord. In my heart. Oh. Have your way, Lord. In my feet. Have your way, Lord. In my hands. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Well, let's pray the one time. Let's go, y'all. Let's go. I feel some breaking, Bert Coleman. No, 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 no. Just we one more time, y'all. Hey, hey. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Let's go. Have your way, Lord. Now. You can have it. You got permission. Spread your weight around. 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 Let me hit these hands, bro. Come on. Let's go. We need you to move. Yeah. We need you to move. Oh, have your way. Have your way, Lord. Woo, come on, say, have your way, Lord. In me. When you make that confession, now we know I'm a Savior, but when you say you're my Lord, I give you full permission to have your way change the way I think and the way I walk and the way I talk we need you to move Lord have your way Lord we need you to move Lord have your way Lord one more time B we need you to move, Lord. Hey, have your way, Lord. Ooh, Father, we love you this morning. There's only one name that we serve. His name is Jesus. We serve Jesus this morning. Come on, in your own way, begin to talk to your Father. Je Jesus, we love you this morning. Ooh, we honor you this morning, Jesus. We don't have to work nothing up or conjure nothing up. You're already here. Just have your way. Woo. Move how you want to move. <laughs> Woo. Heal, save, deliver, set free. I want to teach this another new song right here, B. Song says, hey, there is only one name. There is only one name with power to save. With power to say, listen, then grab it. Hey, there is only one name, there is only one name with power to say. Are you ready to sing, church? Come on, with power to say. Everybody, one voice, come on. There is, there is, come on. There is only one name. 
Oh, oh, there is. There is only one name. Come on. Where the power to say. Power to say. With power to say. Woo! Come on, grab it, church. There is only one name. There is only one name. There is only With power, with power to say, you got it, church. With power to say, with power to say. can I hear just the church sing? Bert, y'all don't sing. Come on, there is only. Come on, let's go. And that's it. Come on, ooh, 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 ooh. with power, with power to say. Da, 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 da. You got it, church. Come on, raise it high. With power to say. Let's join with the angels. Come on, everybody on the stage. There is only one name. Come on, let's go. There, there is only one name. Ooh, 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 ooh. There is only one name. With power. With power to say. Power to say. With power to say. Let me teach you the next part, a really simple song. Ooh, 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 ooh. Song says, hey, our God is champion. He reigns forevermore. Forevermore. You got it, church? Come on. I'm God, one voice, everybody, I'm God, our God, is champion, he is champion, he reigns, he reigns, forever, come on, forevermore, 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 let's go back to the top now, everybody, full band, let's go, there is only one name, come on, there is only one name, I feel faith rising. Come on, there is only there is only one name. Hey, with power, power to say. J E S U S is that name. Power to say. Power to say. Oh 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 oh. oh, oh. There is only one name. Yeah. There is only one name. There is only one name. Power to say. Power to say, power to say, power to say, power to say. Let's go. Our God is champion. One voice. Our God is. Our God is champion. Is champion. He reigns forevermore, church. Forevermore. Forevermore. One more time, I'm God is champion. I'm God, I'm God. Our God. You're the champion. He You're the line of Judah. Hey, he reigns. He reigns forevermore. forevermore. Hey. forevermore. You give the glory this morning forevermore. Hey. Forevermore. Every knee will bow. Come on, put it in three now. Every knee will bow down. Every tongue will bow down. Every tongue will confess. Every tongue will confess. Hey, that you, that you are Lord. You are Lord. You are Lord. You are Lord. Every knee will bow down. Every knee will. Every knee will bow down. Every tongue will confess. Every that Jesus Christ, that Jesus Christ, you are Lord to the glory of God. You are Lord. Every knee will bow down. Every knee will. Every knee will bow down. Every tongue will confess. Every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ.
Lord, you are Lord, you are Lord, you are Lord, you are Lord. One more time. Every knee will bow down, every knee. Every knee will bow down. Every tongue will confess. Every tongue will confess. That, that Jesus Christ. You are Lord, you are Lord. You are Lord. Here's the last part. Chains be broken, break out. Holy Spirit, come now. Heaven open. Heaven, come on, atmosphere. One voice, come on. Atmosphere. Shift. Shift now. Come on. Chains be broken. Break now. Break. Holy Spirit. Holy to call a little different i want all the elders to come and if you just need prayer somebody to touch and agree let's do that come on we don't want to save this moment for the altar call when we have an open heaven anything can happen if you need somebody to touch and agree with you on anything come on make your way to one of these elders come on let's go i'm waiting on you just touch and agree come on there you go oh 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 there you go we can't say this posture for the call to discipleship. Prayer should be throughout the whole service. Come on. Woo! There you go. Oh, 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 oh. Just a touch and agree. When you have an open heaven, anything can happen. Come on. It's our job to bring heaven to earth. Come on. And when you bring heaven to earth, anything can happen. Come on. Just a quick touch and agree. Come on. Uh, uh, uh. We got some great elders, but I want to empower them this morning. Come on, pray, elders. First ladies always praying. We got some elders that can let's empower them. Come on. We're just touching and agreeing. Come on. We're just touching. Come, Minister Joey. Come on. We're just touching and agreeing. We got some folk down here. We're just touching and agreeing. That's all. Do, 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 do. I don't want you to leave church without a tangible touch. Come on. Atmosphere, one voice. Atmosphere, come on, y'all, come on. Atmosphere, shift now. Shift, chains be broken. Chains be broken. Break out, there you go. Break Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, come down. Come on, heaven, let's go. Be a heaven, heaven open. Come on, atmosphere. atmosphere.
calm down. Heaven open. open. God for you this morning. Amen. We want to thank and praise God before you have your seat. Um, we want to thank and praise God for the man of this house. Amen. The man of God, Bishop Dudley. Amen. We know, hallelujah, that he is traveling. He is uh, in Ghana doing God's work. He and Pastor Mo expanding the kingdom, working on behalf of new life. But he did not leave us uncovered because First Lady is in the house today. Amen. We bless God for you. Amen. Amen. If we have any first, second, or third time guests in the house today, if you would not mind uh, acknowledging, uh, you know, giving yourself away, amen. But if you choose to remain anonymous, that is quite all right. We ask that uh, you just um, fill out the gold card 
that you should have received when you come came in the door uh, and then drop that in the offering. We would love, 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 love to acknowledge you. We ask that you do uh, uh, visit uh, Elder Mobley, amen, to my left, your right at the end of service so that we can take you to a guest reception where you'll meet First Lady. To those that are uh, online, that you're visiting with us, tuning in with us for the first, second, or third time, we just ask that you type welcome 689 to 54244. Amen. Uh, and let us know that you're watching online because we got something for you as well. Someone will reach out and connect. Amen. And so right now we are going to pass his presence. And what does that mean? That means that how dare we let anyone come into the house of God and not feel a touch from him in a tangible form. So move to your left, right, front, and back, and then leave where you came from and go find a new neck to hug and let them know, amen, that they are welcome in the house of God. And followed by that, it will be the 411. Welcome Life Changers and guests. I am here to give you your 411 so you know what's happening here at New Life. You still have the chance to choose to be chosen. Let's fill up the entire wall with Life Changers. Scan the QR code and upload a picture of your choice to opt in. Ladies, let's get together Saturday, April 27th at 9 a.m. for our Women's Health event. It's Reveal Sunday. If you and your family has made the decision to sponsor a child in Ghana, you can see who chose you April 28th. Parents, is your child being promoted to elementary, junior high, or high school? We want to celebrate them during Education Sunday. Please take the time to fill out the form for your child. Ladies, it's time for more sisterhood. Come fellowship with Women of Virtue for a Mother's Day brunch, Saturday, May 11th. Scan the QR code to register. It's DK and we're back with another Did You Grow? And we're in the book of songs, biblical poetry and imagery. The Psalms retells the biblical account poetically via the lens of God's kingdom. It's a literary temple. That's right, readers are invited into God's house where we become God's tabernacle. So heaven is on earth wherever we find ourselves. It's a prayer book for the pilgrim to invite the exiles 
in a foreign land back in design to regain the lost Eden. What's our takeaway? The life of David is re-envisioned in prayer and the cosmic temple for us to have radical faith regardless of where we are, to ever be with our Lord through the ebb and flow of life, to experience majesty in the most mundane moments of life as well as its much madness through revisiting with much reflection these powerful images. See you next time for the Book of Proverbs. It's back. That's right. Summit 2024 is here and will be hosted by Pastors Mac and Freedom McCullough in Wisdom in Warner Robins, June 20th through the 23rd. Scan the QR code to register now. Are you leading in the rooms that you're in? Check out Bishop's latest I Lead in Any Room podcast featuring special guest Pastor Jamal Bryant at iLeadAcademy.net. Life Groups, which one are you in? It's never too late to join. Scan the QR code to join today or stop by the table in the lobby. If there are any teens in the sanctuary, you are now dismissed for Teen City. Please see an usher for further instructions if needed. Did you miss your chance to get your merch for last month's Family Sunday? Well, guess what? You can be prepared for this month's Family Sunday by scanning the QR code and ordering your merch today. Most of what you heard today can be found in Linktree. Here's the code and here's what you see. There's a QR code to this in the note taker and in the newsletter on page two. If you're a guest with us for the first, second, or third time, we want to know that you're here. Let us know by completing the go card, see an usher, text the word welcome 689 to 54244, or if you're worshiping online, click the link in the chat. Hey, guess what? You have what you need to do more in 24 and change lives in your lifetime. We'll see you this Wednesday. We'll see you this Wednesday as we walk through the books of Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, and Songs of Songs. Amen. If we, everyone would please stand as we prepare to bless the Lord in giving. Psalms 96 and 8 says, Splendor, oh, I'm sorry. It says, Ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. So, there is another additional way, amen, to bring glory and to glorify God. And that is by blessing him in offering and in tithes, amen. So there are many ways listed behind me that you can give electronically. You can give uh, by giving, uh, filling out an envelope and placing your check or cash in there online there is a link also for you to be able to give and so let's glorify him this morning in giving amen our offertory declaration dear lord you said i can decree and declare a thing so i decree and declare 2024 is my year of more to be more like jesus to learn more of his word to serve more to give more to pray more to attend church more to evangelize more to have life and have it more abundantly in jesus name Amen. Amen. So let's have abundant life and give.
Come on and give God your best hand of praise this morning. Come on, 11, 10 o'clock. Come on and give God your best praise. Give him your best praise. Give him glory. Give him honor. He is worthy. Hallelujah. He didn't just wake us up this morning. The Lord lifted us. Come on and give God some praise for lifting you this morning. Hallelujah. He didn't have to do it, but he did. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I want you to turn to your neighbor right now and just tell him I love you. Yeah, find another neighbor and tell him that you just look good today. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. I am so glad to see each and every one of you all in this morning. I thank God for this opportunity to be a blessing to the house of the Lord on today. To our listening audience, we want to thank you for, for watching this morning. Uh, prepare yourself for a word. Uh, we do give honor to God for our being here. We want to thank God for our bishop who is in Ghana, Africa. Uh, amen. Amen. Come on, give that up. Give that up. Doing kingdom work. He is building the kingdom and advancing the kingdom for God. Amen. We want to give honor and God for God for our first lady who is in the house today. Come on. 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 Amen. Amen. We want to also, I also thank God for my own first lady, my own wife, amen, who is in the house today with her fine self. <laughs> Glory. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, thank God for fineness. Those of you, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. I better, I better lift her up. Amen. Amen. Those of you, uh, <laughs> Yeah, all of you men that are scared of y'all's wives, tell the Lord, thank you. You better say something about her. Yeah, Jeremiah 1 and 5. Gloria, like, don't do that. Don't get up there and clown, Roman. You're doing good earlier today. Don't start. Jeremiah 1 through 5. <laughs> if it's convenient for you, remain standing until the reading of God's word. So that's, we are going to Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5 and uh, John chapter 15 verse 16 um, thank you Jesus uh, minister Brian is in the house he told me to tell him the next time I'm preaching to let him know I'm preaching today man thank God for him so the word of the Lord reads, Jeremiah 1, starting at verse 5. Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. I appointed you prophet to the nations. Amen. John chapter 15, verse 16 says, You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you might go and bear fruit. Fruit that will do what? last amen amen it will not wither it will not dry up but i have chosen you that you will bear fruit fruit that will last and whatsoever you ask in my name the father will give you repeat after me chosen to make a choice find another neighbor and say neighbor i'm chosen to make a choice Find another neighbor and say, whatever you're going through, you're still chosen to make a choice. You may be seated in the house of the Lord. To be chosen means to be selected. To be chosen means to be pulled out. It means to be set apart. Amen. You can try all you want, but the chosen will only fit in with only maybe one to three people amen but God chooses the chosen to be isolated and isolated to be chastened and chastened to be elevated how many of you know that it's not easy to be chosen but it's worth it amen hallelujah it's not easy to be chosen but it is in fact worth it amen point one the chosen will be met with adversity. 
2 Timothy 2, 3 through 4 says, Thou therefore we need to endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. I'm a soldier, retired army, and no soldier puts on his uniform never to have, never to expect to be hit by the enemy's fire. You're going to be shot at. You're going to get hit. You're going to be wounded. Touch your neighbor and say, I'm a soldier. Regardless of the adversity. No man warreth or entangleth himself with the affairs of this, this life that he may please who hath done what? Chosen him to be a soldier. Second Timothy 3 through 12 or 3 and 12 says, Yea, and all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. We're going to be under attack. Amen. But God will let you get sometimes. There's some things that we want. There's some stuff that you desire to have. There's some things that you just feel like you just got to put your hand on. Anybody ever been there? But I found that God would let you get what you want only to find out that you don't even want what you got. Amen. A lot of things that we are calling the devil. There's some things that we have gotten ourselves into. There's some things that we've chosen ourselves. Amen. Tell the Lord, thank you. We need to be mindful and be careful of the things that we are in pursuit of because the very thing that you're in pursuit of can be an idol. Amen. We need to be careful of the things that we just got to have because whatever you are in high pursuit of, you will in fact worship that. Just because we are chosen by God, he's not going to remove adversity from your life. Amen. Nor is he going to take away your freedom to choose. Just because you're chosen doesn't mean that you don't have flaws. It don't mean that you ain't got no hangups. It don't mean that you ain't got no habits. It don't mean that you ain't got no weaknesses. It don't mean none of that. You can be chosen and still have all of that foolishness going on. Amen. See, God, he doesn't choose the chosen because you got it going on and because you got it all together. But I chose you. I choose you because you don't have it going on. Jesus told the 12, he said, didn't I chose, choose you 12 in John chapter 6, verse 68? He said, didn't I choose you 12? And one of you trifling rascals is a devil. He was talking about Judas. Amen. God don't choose you to be what you want to be, but he chooses you to make, to make the choice to be what he chose you to be. Amen. Regardless of the fact whether you do it or not. Whatever you do, if you don't do it or not, it's either going to work out for your good or it's not going to work out for your good. But regardless of what you choose, it's going to work out for God's glory. Amen. So Jesus chose Judas and he knew he was a thief. Jesus chose us. Knew we got some issues. Knew you got some problems. Knew you got some hangups and some weaknesses. Knew you got some issues. Touch your neighbor and say, you got issues too. And he still chose you. See, Jesus chose Judas and he knew he was a thief. God doesn't choose you because you got it all together. But Jesus chose Judas and he knew he was a thief and he put him in charge of the money. Why? Why would he do that? My mother would used to tell me that. Why would you do that? He knew you was in trouble when she said that. She said, he said, in other words, why, I always wanted to know, why would Jesus choose a thief and then put him over the money? Knowing Judas was a thief because Jesus, Jesus did not want to rob Judas of his opportunity to make a choice. Amen. Tell the Lord, thank you. God know what you would do. He allows some things to happen to see the type of choice you're going to make. The devil don't ever make you do nothing. He been sitting there watching you all of your life. He know what you like. He know what you don't like. So he'll sit you right in the middle of some opposition. And I'm going to say, hmm. And then soon as you choose the wrong thing, he runs to God and say, you see your man of God over there doing all this stuff? 
But God said, I've already given him some grace. I knew what he was going to do before he did what he did. I knew what he was going to say before they said what they said. Amen. Tell the Lord, thank you. So God, he put Judas over the money knowing that he was a thief. Because he wanted Judas to make a choice. New life, no matter how you attempt it, no matter what your habit is, you are chosen to make a choice. And your level of suffering depends on how you choose. Amen. There's two types of suffering that the chosen will, is going to experience. The first is the, it's going to be the suffering that we experience due to the sin that we commit. Amen. And there is a suffering that we experience when God is trying to get us where he wants us to be. So regardless of the choice of the chosen, pain is an uncomfortable suffering. Amen. See, the difference between us when we are in God's hand and when the potter has the clay in is his hand, we feel when God is molding us. We feel when he is shaping us and trying to get us to be what he has in his mind. We going to feel it. Touch your neighbor and say, yeah, you going to feel when God molding you. Yes, 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 yes. So we, we, we feel those types of things when God is molding us. Regardless of the choice of the chosen, pain is a unavoidable suffering but yet the chosen are chosen to make a choice see God doesn't choose you because you got it all together he doesn't choose you because you don't have a struggle he don't choose you because you don't have an issue amen y'all remember when Satan said told God yeah the only reason that Job is doing what you want him to do is because you've blessed him because you do everything for him because he's rich and he ain't got no issue and he ain't got no problem he ain't got none of these things going on in his life and because you also have a hedge around him but if you remove that hedge from around him I will wreak so much habit in and hell in his life he will curse you to your face God said go ahead and do what you came to do go ahead and try him go ahead and do him yet yeah, I don't mind what you're gonna do don't kill him but go on and wreak as much hell as you want to in his life but it's gonna be his decision it's going to be his decision how he responds to the hell that's going on in your life. God is not going to get in the way of your free will. But he chooses you to choose him over whatever your struggle is. He chooses you to choose him over whatever your crisis is, Jan. He chooses you. God ain't going to move the temptation because you can't control your flesh. God ain't going to remove the temptation because you can't keep your clothes on. God is not going to remove all the fine men and all the fine women because you got a habit. Tell the Lord, thank you. He's not going to remove all the liquor off the shelves in Walmart because you got a drinking problem. He ain't going to do it. You got to make a choice. Touch your neighbor. You're going to have to choose what you're going to do. Who you going to serve. If you, are you going to serve you or are you going to serve God? God is not going to remove the struggle from the chosen because he wants you to choose. You can't be on the fence. You got to choose. David defeated Goliath. He defeated all kinds of things. He defeated all kinds of armies. Folks that should have beat him. He defeated them. But he lost his greatest battle to Bathsheba. New life, our real giants are the desires that we haven't even defeated yet. Hallelujah. Tell the Lord thank you. See, Satan don't want you to choose God, so he creates situations in your life to make you turn away from God. In other words, just because you're spirit-filled don't necessarily mean you're going to be spirit-controlled. Amen. Tell the Lord thank you. First Corinthians 10 talks about that God is faithful and he will not allow you to be tempted above what you can't handle. But if you are tempted, he'll make a way for you to escape. Amen. Somebody say, help me, Lord, to escape. See, most folk, we, we look for a way of escape after we done got into something we ain't got no business in. 
tell the Lord thank you but sometimes your only way of escape is not to get in it in the first place I said earlier today you everybody don't need no prayer partner no because you ain't gonna do right you coming to the prayer meeting wrong you want a prayer partner because he's fine you don't need to be praying with nobody that you attracted to everybody don't need a prayer partner whether they the same sex or opposite sex because you got a lot of stuff floating and flying around in churches and you don't need to be touching and agreeing with everybody because touching and agreeing leads to touching and agreeing. Somebody know what I'm talking about. Somebody been there. They done touched and agreed. You done touched and agreed too long. Save, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost. I see you back there, Sam. Touching and agreeing too long with the wrong somebody. Great day in the morning. You don't need to be touching the green with everybody. I remember my father, when I went to pastor my father's church long time ago, long time ago. My father said, he said, son, I'm a, I need to talk to you. I said, yes, sir. He said, they're going to come after you. I said, who? What's your last name, son? I told him what my last name. They're going to come after you. He said, you don't need to be in no meeting with no woman without your wife. You don't need to be in no meeting with no woman. If she can't be there, you need a church mother to be there with you. So I'm young, thinking I can control myself. I'm good. After one Sunday, pastor. At, right after I preached, Pastor, um, can I talk to you for a minute? I was like, sure. Yeah, come on. Come on in my chambers. And I walked in there, and she had a Cleveland out. Y'all know what Cleveland is, right? Her Cleveland was out, y'all. And I just got through preaching, and the spirit was high, and the anointing was on me. Saved! And I'm sitting there in the office, in my chambers, talking to this woman with her Cleveland out. And she said, <laughs> she said, I'm having problems with my husband. And I don't know what I'm going to do. He won't talk to me. and He ain't touched me in months. And he won't hug me. And he won't hold me. And my spirit said, Jesus. But my flesh said, I hold you. And I said, Satan, the Lord rebuke you. Baby, baby, come here for a minute. Come here, sweetie, honey, baby girl, loved one. Come here, sit down, talk to this lady right quick. I, I'm, I'll be back. The devil is alive. Set up. Touch your neighbor. Say, don't play with your flesh. Because your flesh don't play. See, 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 sometimes it's hard to tell your flesh no. Somebody know what I'm talking about. If you really be honest, I'm trying to help somebody be strong. I'm trying to help somebody make some good choices. Everybody's strong until you done done something you ain't got no business. Yeah, I'm a, man, I ain't going to do that no more. Lord Jesus, I ain't going to drink no more. Mm, okay. Y'all looking at me like, please get off of that. <laughs> Regardless of the choice of the chosen, pain is an unavoidable suffering, y'all. Point two, the chosen will be chastened. You're going to be chastened. Hebrews 12 and 6 says, the Lord chastens those whom he loves. Amen. Somebody say Mary and Martha. Mary and Martha had an issue. They brother. Amen. He was, he was dying. He was sick. 
And they sent word to Jesus and, he, and they said, Lord Jesus, the one that you love the most is sick. He died. Jesus was like, so? Stay where he was three, four more days. I want you to understand something, new life. Just because God loves you don't mean that he won't let y'all go through nothing. Amen? New life, you're not going to understand a lot of times why you're going through what you're going through and why it's so difficult, but the chosen will, in fact, be chastened. Amen? I told a story this morning, amen, about my brothers, and we were talking about the discipline that we had received from our mother and growing up, and, 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 and he said, Ma would whip us for nothing, man. She just come in the house just serving everybody in the house. And I was like, no, Ma didn't never really just whoop us for nothing. There was a reason. If she whooped you, there was a real reason why she did it. If she got you, she didn't wait for God to get you. She got you wherever you cut up at. I'm talking about me because I got all of my whoopings, all of them at church. All of them. She didn't care if it was raining outside. She would snatch me into the women's bathroom and whoop me all up in there around them church mother. Get him, mother. That's right. She whooped you at the mall. She whooped you at Kroger. She whooped you in public. I don't know what it was about the public, but she loved to slap you in public. Y'all ever been slapped in public and you look around to see who saw you get hit? Touch your neighbor and say, my mama did that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. She hit you with left hands and right, overhand rights. and She was quick with it. Mayweather, mama. She would whoop you in principal's offices, church, playgrounds, fairgrounds. I told him at the 8 o'clock, my mama whooped me at the fairgrounds. Popcorn went everywhere. Pick it up. And I'm out there trying to pick up all the popcorn. Anytime you get a whooping at a playground, your mama don't play at all. Tell the Lord, thank you. There was no free will in my mother's house. My mother didn't give you a choice to do what she said or not do it. But God, he gives us a choice. He gives us free will. Unlike my mother with God, there is no escape from the chastening of the chosen. He doesn't chasten us for nothing, but he but God uses the chastening of the chosen and the choices of the chosen to get us where he wants us to be. He's not getting in the way of your free will, but you will need to choose wisely. Amen. Tell the Lord, thank you. New life, your flesh, your will, and your desires is usually never a problem until it's time for you to choose. Your flesh is never a problem until it's time for you to make a decision. My father said that he didn't know his flesh was so hard to control until after he got saved. Because before he got saved, he just did what he wanted to do. But now that he's saved, he got to fight to control himself. New life, it's not easy to say no to you. It's not easy to see something that you want and say no. Y'all ever been there? But sometimes we want what we want the way we want it. I know, God, I ain't supposed to want it. But God, I need you to help me not to want it. New life, you're not just chosen to be chosen, but you're chosen to make a choice. And the choices you make will pull you. It's going to either pull you toward God or it's going to push you away from God. New life, if you don't have a relationship with God, you are not going to be able to handle being chosen. Somebody help me, Lord. See, we believe God to get saved. Amen. How many of y'all had to believe God to get saved? 
But you're going to have to have a relationship with him. You're going to have to know him to stay saved. In other words, if you're chosen, you cannot stay where your flesh want to keep you. You're going to have to work. You're going to have to fight. You're going to have to learn how to make the right choices. New life, you got to learn how to tell yourself no. Y'all heard that comedian? You're going to have to tell him no. Y'all don't watch up TV. The Bible says that I am the Lord and I change not. But if I'm going to walk with God, I'm going to have to change. But our problem is, new life, is that we don't want to change. So if I want to be like Jesus and he wants me to be like him and I got to put on the mind of Christ, I'm going to have to get with the program because he is not changing. Amen. Tell the Lord, thank you. We got to learn how to tell ourselves no. Somebody say, I'm chosen. And I'm chosen to make a choice. The day you realize, new life, who you are, the less you're going to want to be like what you were. Amen? You're not chosen just to be chosen, but you're chosen to make a choice. Amen? Will it be heaven or will it be hell? Amen? Will it be struggle or will we walk in the graces and the mercies of God? It's going to cost a whole lot of people. We think that walking with God is hard and it costs so much. But it's going to cost you a whole lot to go to hell. Hell going to be worse. You know what you need to be doing. You know what you don't need to be doing. Amen? Tell the Lord thank you. Hell going to be a bad place for a lot of people doing what you want to do. If I'm cutting you, I mean to. It costs more to go to hell than it do heaven. Solomon said that the way of the transgressor is what? Hard. New life, God will not force you to be holy. We are not just chosen to be chosen, but he's chosen us to be holy. He has chosen us to walk right. He's chosen us to talk right. He has chosen us to be an example and an ambassador for God. Tell the Lord thank you. But the chastening comes when we go after what we feel like we got to have. But God allows you to make the choice you want. Then he chastens you for making that choice. He, then he covers you for making that choice. Then he gives you grace for making that choice. And right before the wrong choice takes you out, he blocks the devil and he pulls you out of a bad situation that you decided to do. Tell the Lord, thank you. New life, if you know the devil should have had you when he had the chance, give him some praise. Give him some glory. Lift him up right now. Hallelujah. Tell the Lord, thank you. See, he should have took you out, but I'm chosen. He should have ruined your life, but I'm chosen. God blocked it because I'm chosen. You thought you had me, but I'm chosen. You attacked my character, but I am chosen. That same choice I made, somebody else made, and they didn't make it because I'm chosen. But I'm still here because I'm chosen. See, what I love about free will is that God would let you choose what you feel like you got to have and then let the decision you made teach you and mold you and chasten you so God can strengthen you and he can establish you so the next time you're face to face with that opposition you will choose the right thing instead of the wrong thing hallelujah you will be led by your spirit and not by your flesh somebody shout I'm chosen in here see in other words God would let you get what you want only to find out that you don't even want what you got I don't even want this guy Steve crooked, feet stink, won't clean up behind itself, but I was just choosing off of what I like. I don't even want this woman. She crazy. Pulled all the hair out your brush. Yeah, yeah, some of y'all know about witchcraft. I see you. Satan, the Lord rebuke you. <laughs> the devil is a lie. 
Devil is a lie. But God will let you get what you want only to find out what you don't, you, the stuff that you want, you don't even want what you got. Now your free will has got you dealing with the consequences of a bad decision. Now your free will has got you in a situation that you're saying, how in the world did I get here? God will let you, chosen, get the stuff that you want only to find out that you don't even want what you got. Because if God didn't let the decision you made teach you and chasing you and put you right where, where, right where, he, right where you are right now, you'd be still looking for the thing that you did last night. Tonight, you still be drunk right now. You still be high right now. Amen. You still be with Shay Shay and Ray Ray right now. New life, if you ever get hooked up, and I told them this this morning, if you ever get hooked up with somebody that's chosen, when it's time for God to bring them out, they will drop you like they never knew you. Let me put it another way. If you're chosen and you are in a relationship that you know you ain't got no business in and out of the blue, they break up with you and break your heart and, and you're crying and you're in love and, and they break it off. You might be sad, but you're going to be thanking God and speaking in tongues too. Somebody say I'm chosen. See, when you are chosen and you are susceptible and vulnerable, God will make folk do for you what you're not strong enough to do for yourself. See, everything ain't the devil. Some stuff is a choice you made. Some stuff I got myself into. Some stuff I did. Yeah, it ain't all my mama's fault or my daddy's fault or my brother's fault. Some stuff I'm responsible for. And when God brings you out of this, you're going to be stronger than you were before you chose to get in that thing. Some of this stuff you just chose to do. Tell the Lord, thank you. God will chasten the chosen. See, all of us, we're going we to choose our own level of chastening or our level of pain. Amen. I told him this morning that there is two types of pain. There is consequential pain and there is a control pain. The consequential pain is the pain that you brought on yourself due to a choice that you made. And there was a, there was a control pain when you're, you got your flesh dying. You trying to be obedient to God and you crucifying your flesh and you and you're fasting and you're praying and you dying to the very thing that you want control pain hallelujah see our commitment to God it's going to avoid consequential pain tell the Lord thank you hallelujah we need to thank God new life for grace and mercy amen God giving you what you don't deserve we need to thank God for mercy God not giving you the judgment that you do deserve because of God's grace and mercy none of us in here is chasing beyond what we choose to do and nor are we chasing beyond what we really deserve amen if we really got the chastening we deserve none of us would be sitting in here right now I told my brothers that I thank God for the whippings I got Amen. Because my mother whooped us. She whooped some prophets and she whooped some evangelists and she whooped some pastors and she whooped some teachers. Hallelujah. So that we one day would grow up and edify the body of Christ. Getting us right for the kingdom. Look at your neighbor. If you got children, beat them, whoop them, choke them. You saving a life. I believe in that. Somebody asked me, Elder Wells, your kids are so nice and mannerable. They say, yeah, because they know we'll kill them. They was raised by killers. My mother-in-law didn't play. She killed my wife. And my mama showed him play. <laughs> my mother dead and gone. I'm scared of her. Tell the Lord, thank you. So we need to thank God for the chastening we got. Amen. Somebody thank God for the grace and the mercy. Because none of us in here is chasing beyond what we choose to do. Amen. 
If you want your life to turn around, the Bible says, if my people who are called by my name would humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked choices, then I'll hear from heaven and I'll heal their land. I'll forgive their sin. Amen. New life. If you want your life to turn around, you're going to have to turn to turn it. Somebody shout, make a choice. Come on, tell it, say it again. Make a choice. Amen. You are going to have to turn to turn it. Amen. See, some of us, we've stopped pursuing God because of the chastening that we've gotten. And we think heaven is going to bankrupt because we ain't doing what we ought to be doing. Tell the Lord, thank you. I told that the church earlier today that when I wasn't pastoring anymore, Mm, I wasn't praying like I used to. I was talking about backsliding. I wasn't reading my word like I used to. I wasn't fasting like I used to. I always had to fast all the time, pray all the time. It cost me a life of what I wanted to do. I had to choose God to do what God was calling me to do. And it cost me. It cost my family. So when I wasn't pastoring no more, I stopped praying like I used to. I stopped fasting like I used to. I stopped reading my word like I used to. Hallelujah. Backsliding. See, backsliding don't mean you left the church. And it don't mean you left God. But what it means is you've gone backward in your relationship with God. Amen. The old Kojic church. Come on, Pastor Jay. The old Kojic church would sing a song. Church mothers would get to get together in testimony service and they would sing this song. Come on. Singing, come on. oh Zion, what's the matter now? Oh Zion, what's the matter now? You don't pray like you used to pray. What's the matter now? You don't sing like you used to sing. What's, what's the, the matter, matter now? Singing, oh Zion, what's, what's the, the matter now? now? Oh, 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 Zion, what's, what's the, matter? the matter now? Thank you, Jesus. Backsliding. We want to know what's the matter. Look at your name and say, what's wrong with you? They had a washboard and tambourine and some wooden blocks. My daddy had some old wooden blocks. He would clack together. Like, yeah, you don't get no country of that neck. I found in my walk with God, no matter how far away we walk from God, you re your return step is only one step back into the direction of God. Just one step. I don't care how far you done went back. It's just one step. Point three, the chosen will be isolated. Somebody say isolation. When you're isolated, God set you apart, which means God meant for you to be different. He meant for you to be holy. He meant for you to be sanctified. He never meant for you for the chosen to be accepted and feel welcome everywhere. You weren't meant, you were meant to be an outcast with men, but an incast with God. Somebody say, I'm chosen. See, when you're isolated, God will cut off all of your help. You help other folk, but you can't find a soul to help you. You were hallelujah. Hallelujah. He won't let folk nurture you when you're going through your season of isolation. He won't let people nurture you and comfort you when you're going through your season of chastening. He won't let nobody come to your rescue because he wants you to know that I am your rescue. I am your fortress. I am your strong tower. I am your deliverer. I am your savior. I am your way maker. I am your healer. I am your provider. I I am your sustainer hallelujah new life God don't want he don't have to take the chosen way in the wilderness or way in the valley to isolate you all he got to do is shut all of the doors around you you're uncomfortable in certain settings you try to fit in but you can't you call people to help but they won't they won't call you back they won't text you back nobody is available all of your friends and all of your family members start pulling away you don't understand what's going on you're isolated and folk hallelujah they sit 
there and they know what you're going through, but they don't help you. They just sit and watch how long it's going to take for you to explode. They won't sit and just watch you. Hallelujah. How long it's going to take for you to lose your mind. They sit and watch to see how long you're going to lose your money and you're going to lose your house. I don't just going to sit right there. And see what happened to you next. See, hallelujah. You'll see folks all on Facebook. Hallelujah. All on Facebook. They didn't went to lunch. They didn't had a good time. And did nobody invite you. Nobody told you about it. Somebody say isolation. See, the chosen is isolated because most chosen people are surrounded by people who will delay and destroy your destiny. God, no, God trying to protect you. That's why he isolates you. Isolation is painful. Isolation feels like loneliness, but it is not loneliness. It's a time of preparation. God doesn't choose anyone by accident. I believe he told Jeremiah, Bear, Jeremiah, before I formed you in the belly, I knew you. Hallelujah. You, hallelujah. I knew what you was going to do before you did it. I knew what you should have done and you didn't do it. I knew you. He don't take a chance with the chosen. He already knows you. Tell the Lord, hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, God know you. Whatever you do will not surprise God because he ordained you. You will never be used by God and he don't know it. Tell somebody, God know you. Hallelujah. He said every hair on your head is numbered. It's not counted, but it is numbered. See, counted means he knows how many it is. But numbered means if you pulled a strand out of your hair, he knows that that's number 13,690. Somebody shout, God know me. You're chosen to be isolated and, and you're prepared for a purpose. See, when God isolates you, he capacitates you. And when you are capacitated, God is making you capable for the purpose that you're called for. God is making you capable. He is training you and he is strengthening you. He is certifying you and he is anointing you, making you ready for the assignment that he already has for you. See, when God capacitates the chosen, he isolates you and then he elevates you. Somebody say it's elevating time. I done been through hell and high water. I done been through fire. It's time for God to raise me up. It's time for God to lift me up. First Peter 5 says that after you have suffered a while God will make you perfect and he will establish you and he will strengthen you when God elevates the chosen you begin to make sense out of all the hell you've been through now it's starting to make sense now I know why I had to go through what I went through I didn't understand it at first but now I know God is a therapist and a therapist gives language for the experiences that we ain't got no words for. See, we don't know why we had to suffer until God gives you a breakthrough. You don't even understand it. You don't know why you had to go through what you went through. You don't know why they fired you. Because you were supposed to get your own business. You don't know why you had to go through what you went through. But your breakthrough is somebody else's breakthrough. You ain't just suffering just to be suffering. You suffering to help somebody else. Your breakthrough is somebody else's breakthrough. It's you, your breakthrough is your mother's breakthrough. Your breakthrough, you breaking through for your father. You breaking through for your brother. You breaking through for your sister. You breaking through for your friends that's going through the same thing that you just went through. Tell the Lord, thank you. That's why the suffering is so hard. Because the enemy knows once you make it through, you somebody else's breakthrough. See, the chosen has to be careful of not letting the opposition that comes as a result of being chosen to cause you to pull back and sit on your hands and sit on your calling and sit on your ministry because somebody hurt you, because somebody got on your nerve, because it was painful, because it was ungodly. I didn't deserve that. We got to be careful of sitting on our hands because of mistreatment and rejection and isolation because the chosen is anointed 
to heal the hurting. Reason I can heal the hurt because I was hurt. You chosen to help folk that's dealing with suicide. The reason I can help somebody that's dealing with suicide because I wanted to take my own life. You are chosen to help people with addictions. The reason why I can help somebody with addictions because I used to smoke. I used to drink. I used to parlay. I was addicted to stuff that I could not unhelp, unhandcuff myself from. Tell the Lord thank you. The only reason you can talk people off the ledge is because you know what it feel like not only to stand on the ledge but to jump. Done. Done with it all. Your job and purpose is to pull people out of what God just brought you out of. Somebody shout I'm chosen. See you're not just chosen just to be chosen. You chosen to make a choice. Somebody say now it's making sense. Now I know why I'm going through what I'm going through. Now I know why they hate me for nothing. Now I know why they don't like me. Now I know why they close me off. Now I know why they don't invite me. Now I know why I feel alone. Now I know why they've been talking about me. Now I know why I don't feel comfortable in certain settings. Somebody say it's making sense. It's making sense. It didn't make sense at first, but now it's making sense. You are chosen to be chosen, but you're chosen for a purpose. And your purpose is not just what you do, but it is that thing that happens in other people when you do what you are chosen to do. In other words, I'm not just going to sit back in my feelings and watch you self-destruct and not say nothing. I'm chosen to go get you. Chosen. I know what it feels like to be called and you got a struggle. I'm talking about a preacher. You preach on Sunday and whatever else you're doing on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I know what that feel like. So when I see it, I'm called to go talk to you. This is how you get delivered. This is how you make it out. This is how you free yourself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tell somebody I'm breaking through for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, you're not breaking through the look down on those who struggle with your old habits. Somebody say, help me, Lord. What the frog look like looking down on the tadpole? The tadpole got frog in him. He just on a whole nother level. You doing the same thing and have done the same thing, but now you doing it on another level. New life, we need to be careful how you handle people that you think are beneath you. Because God will raise them up and pray you out some mess. You need to be careful how you handle chosen folk who is going through a season of chastening. Because God will raise them up to pray you through some stuff. I don't know who I'm talking to, but God is about to bless you so good that you're going to bless folk that wouldn't bless you. God is about to bless you so good that you're going to help people that wouldn't help you. God is about to bless you so good that you're going to bless folk that have been talking about you. you. God is about to bless you so good that you're going to bless people that have set traps for you. Thank you, Jesus. Joseph said, everything y'all meant for my bad, God has meant it for my good. Somebody said, shout, it's time to be elevated now. See, when you're chosen, you're chosen to be rejected. When you're chosen, you're chosen to be isolated. When you're chosen, you're chosen to be an outcast. You're chosen not to fit in. You're chosen to suffer a while. But as 
after you have suffered a while, God is going to perfect you. In other words, you're not going to look like what you've been through because God is going to make you over. He's going to elevate you. Hallelujah. Yes, you've been isolated. Yes, you've been left out. Yes, you've been pushed to the back. But the first shall be last and the last shall be first. Amen. Touch your neighbor and say, hang in there. Cause it's elevating time. Find another neighbor. Say, hang rank, hang in there. Don't you quit on me. It's exalting time. You've been sick. You've been lied on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You've been talked about. You've been weary. You've been mistreated. But the Lord is my shepherd. In other words, he's my protector. I shall not want. In other words, he's my provider. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. In other words, he's my rest. He leads me beside the still waters other words he relaxes me and stores my soul in other words he's my healer he's my way maker he's my deliverer somebody shout glory in here you chosen to make a choice regardless of what you're faced with you better know who you are you better know what God called you to do You better know what your assignment is. God's hand is on you to succeed. One thing about the chosen, I don't care what you've been through or what the enemy throws at you. You will always land on your feet. That's right. right. Somebody shout glory. You looking at somebody chosen. I done been through some stuff. I may not look like it. But I done been through some stuff. 100% disabled. But I done been through some stuff. I don't feel like it. Say I got post-traumatic stress, but I'm good. Don't tell the VA. You can diagnose me as crazy if you want to. I'm good. Touch your neighbor say, I'm in my right mind. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I don't care what the doctor has diagnosed you with. God said, you shall live and not die. You shall live and not die. I don't care what it feels like. I don't care what bad relationship you in. It will not destroy you because you dis- you are chosen. I don't care what struggle you in right now. It will not destroy you. God said, choose ye this day who you will serve. Time to make a choice. So what you done been through some stuff? We supposed to go through some stuff. God called you to be a soldier you ain't supposed to be crying about the elements you ain't supposed to be crying about the condition God has already built you to be able to to adjust to whatever condition you in I was in Iraq for six months it was hotter than hot in 30 days it was home I had adjusted to the condition that I was in. Stop complaining about the condition that God has allowed you to be in. Adjust to the situation. You got to make a choice here to adjust to the situation you are in so that you are prepared to fight. The devil always whoops the crybaby. He always whoops the whiner. He always whoops the complainer. He always whoops the the backslider. Get in your rightful place. If you really be honest, everybody in here has backslidden. Either you backslid then or you in a backslidden state right now. And I need you to be honest because God is going to do something. He's going to deliver right now in the name of Jesus. You don't pray like you used to pray. You don't read your word like you used to read it. When you first got saved, you was all in it. But if you need a change, I want you to come to this altar right now. The altar ought to be full. If you need a change, I want you to come right now. 
God fix me, God heal me, God deliver me, God change me, God make me better, God do me over again, make me over again. If you need to be made over, I need you to come right now. If you got issues going on and you don't know how you're going to fight this through this fight, you don't know how you're going to make it. If you need prayer, I want you to come right now. We got elders on the altar waiting, 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 waiting to pray for you, to help you get to a breakthrough. Everybody in here has backslidden. Don't let the enemy talk you out of staying where you at. God wants to free you. God wants to empower you. God wants to make you better. God wants to change it. If you want your situation to turn, you're going to have to turn to turn it. It's time to turn, y'all. Hell is a real place. Hell is a real place. If you need to stand in the gap for somebody. If you need to stand in the gap for somebody. I'm a prayer intercessor. The enemy is always after prayer intercessors and a prayer intercessors family. If you need to intercede, you know that you can pray and you can get a prayer through. You need to come on, come on. Somebody in your family dealing with some stuff right now. Somebody in your family is hurting right now. Somebody in your family got some habits right now. I want you to come right now in the name of Jesus. You need a change. You need a change. You need a change. My sister, my brother. And enable me to say. God is working it out for your good. My God has called you all to not just own a business, but be business owners. And I, and he is working I it out. He's working it out. There's people that the enemy has assigned to y'all. But God said it will not work. There's some assignments that the enemy has launched out to destroy marriages, to destroy relationships, but God said it will not work. There's a plan that God has for you, and I told you, there is a plan that God has for you that God is going to do something so great in your life concerning business. Everybody ain't going to be able to go. Everybody ain't going to be able to do. Everybody ain't going to be connected to you, but God is working it out right now. In the what name of Jesus, in this season, say, right now, he's working it out. And no devil in hell is going to be able to stop this next season that God has taken you into. In the name of Jesus, if there is healing, God said, I'm going to fix it. I'm going to deliver it. I'm going to make a way for you. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah, the devil is a liar. In the name My store is empty and I and I am available to you. Oh, oh, oh. Lord, I'm available. Lord, oh, Lord, I'm available to you. My
y'all to repeat after me if you don't know Christ and the pardon of your sins those of you that are watching if you got your family sitting there I want you to repeat after me Lord I'm a sinner I believe that you sent your son Jesus to die for the sins of the world I want you to forgive me and save me for my sins in the name of Jesus clap your hands and give God glory for salvation if you're watching if you got saved today I want you to know that when you get saved nothing really gets in a line with God but your spirit your flesh is still gonna wanna do what it did before you got in here today. But you're gonna have to make a choice to remain in God. Is it gonna be a fight? Yes, it's okay. Ask God to forgive you and get back in right standing with God. You can't be on the fence. You've been on the fence too long. It's time to make a choice to be holy. To be set apart to be set free hell is a real place heaven is better touch your neighbors a heaven is better heaven is better holiness is right holiness is better righteousness is right thank you Jesus grab your neighbor by the hand now God we thank you we praise your name we magnify you we lift you up right now God is restoring marriages. I hear him say, I'm, I'm restoring marriages. Just be patient with one another and communicate. Just be patient with one another and communicate and be forgiving. 
be forgiving in the name of Jesus do it for your glory God Lord I pray and ask that you keep us holy that you keep us in your will that you bind the devil that comes to steal kill and destroy in the name of Jesus restore our money restore our health restore our homes restore our finances restore us God when God restores that means there's something wrong when God hallelujah God said I'm restoring I'm putting some putting back together some stuff that has been scattered and broken in the name of Jesus Lord I pray right now that you help my brother my sister whose hand I hold right now bind the devil that comes to attack their bodies bind the devil now in the name of Jesus in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Look at your name and say you're chosen to make a choice. If you were visiting, if you are visiting with us for the first or second or third time, I want you to meet our elder, Elder Mobley, right here in the green. She is going to uh, take you and escort you to the reception center where you will meet First Lady. And in Bishop's absence, you will also meet me. Amen. And we're going to welcome you to the New Life Christ Church, the fastest growing, the most productive church in this area. You can also join on the church if you want to connect with us. Amen. Meet us right after service. Amen. And or fill out that connection card and or follow the prompts on the screen. Amen. You can connect with us and join with this church where God is, is moving. Where the word of God is being preached and taught and lifted up. Now God our Father, we thank you. We praise your name. We lift you up right now. We pray and ask, oh God, that you would you would send a, a great anointing and that you would dispatch your angels to Ghana, where our bishop and, and Pastor Mo is right now doing kingdom work. We ask that you would protect them in the name of Jesus, that you would bind them and keep them, oh God, from opposition of the enemy. In the name of Jesus, while they're doing God's work right now, God, we pray right now for their protection. In the mighty name of Jesus, that the gates of hell will not prevail against the body of Christ. In the name of Jesus, do it for your glory. Heavenly Father, we ask that you look and you be with each and every one of us as we leave this place. Keep us in your will. Keep us in your way. Keep us mindful of this word that was preached today. That we are chosen and we're chosen to make a choice. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hug somebody and let them know I love you. And ain't nothing you can do about it. Let's go. And it to Let's go.